Alright, it's next episode. Um, shit. Great. What is this now? Who would double lock a storm shelter? Nancy, quick, which. Oh. We died. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh. I was in the bottom of a storm shelter. Come on. What is this now? Who would double lock a storm shelter? Nancy, quick, which key of. That's gonna be one of those. You wanna give it to Oh. What is this now? Who would double lock a storm shelter? Oh. Why are all these keys here? What is this now? Yes, you did it! Oh. Nice job, Nancy! What happens if I just... No. I gotta do it. I think the worst has passed. Nancy, where are you going? Get in the shelter! I can't just let Scott get away. What? Yes, you okay, can. Okay, first thing, switch on your GPS. That little dot you see, follow that and it will lead you right to Scott. We put a tracker on his truck. It's a safety thing. But Nancy, be careful out there. Keep this radio on and I'll do my best to keep you safe. Nancy, I'm really sorry about everything that happened back there. Scott, he... he wasn't always like this. I knew... I mean, I was worried about him earlier. His heart clearly wasn't in it anymore. He was putting us in danger. I just wanted to do what's best. That's not what it sounded like when I overheard you talking to Frosty. You two wanted to get rid of Scott, and from where I was standing, you sure didn't sound very concerned about safety. Nancy, I know it probably sounded bad, but there's a lot you don't know. Pete, the intern you took over for? His injury wasn't just an accident. He got hurt because Scott sent him out where he never should have been. After that, I knew I had to take over. That's still no... Looking back, I do things differently. But I did what I did for the right reasons. I wanted to push Scott until the world saw how reckless he was being. It was a mistake. I screwed up and I accept responsibility. No matter what happens out there, promise me that you'll be careful. I promise. Anyway, this is kind of dumb. I mean, the guy's going... Surely we can, you know, report him or something. Oh shit. We don't need to endanger our lives, but... Why is his truck faster than my car? Anyway... Oh shit, wrong way. I guess I'll just follow him. Yeah, Freedom Fighters was pretty fun. I've already played it. It was a gem. I never got to play it. I remember I would always see, like... Scott! I better find us some shelter. I wonder if there's a way to get into the spring house. Made it! Dear Ned, once the theater was successfully evacuated, Debbie and Chase were able to follow the GPS tracking signal to the spring house, where Scott and I had safely weathered the storm. Although he was pretty seriously shaken up in the crash, Scott came to in time to see Frosty arrive with the police. 
He received community service for destruction of public property and interfering with public safety records. He didn't fare so well with a the college. They fired him quicker than lightning hitting a beast on Greyhound, as they say around here. So it looks like he'll actually be serving the community now, instead of just pretending to. Even if it's just by picking up garbage by the side of the road. That's pretty minor. Word spread quickly did. about Scott's misdeeds, and soon Brooke Tavanaugh, the rival chase team leader, found herself out of a job as well. With the storm season almost over, it looked like both teams were out of the competition. Debbie, always the organizer, decided to combine the remaining members on both teams for the remainder of the season. Without Scott's ever-present storm cloud hanging over the team and his constant sabotaging, the team really began to hit its stride with Debbie in charge. Two days after I told Krollmeister I had found the source of the sabotage and the change in team leaders, Debbie's chase team was greeted by a surprise delivery, the next generation of Krollmeister's storm tracking and detection equipment. With Scott out of the picture, Frosty renegotiated his contract. Now that he's able to pursue his own projects on the side, he's just about doubled his output. He's launched his own business, and when he's not getting pelted by softball-sized hail, you'll find him in his studio. Chase has given up on his dreams of finding oil. Even if he hadn't, he wouldn't have the time to look. Debbie's keeping him too busy. Free from having to spend his days fixing Scott's mistakes, Chase has finally had the opportunity to show off his keen sense for weather. Now that Debbie has accepted Scott's old position as head of the Canute Storm Team, he's become her right-hand man. Last I heard, he was going to assist Debbie in her classes in the fall. And when I got home, I found a surprise delivery myself as well. The first shipment of my lifetime supply of Coco Kringle Bars. Krollmeister also sent me a note, telling me to keep my bags packed. He has a special surprise trip planned for me as a way to say thanks. As long as it's some place where the clouds stay in the sky like they belong, I'll be happy to go. While the winners of the Green Skies event won't be determined until fall, things are looking pretty good for Debbie's team. With the new equipment, they've logged the most storm data. And although Debbie won't be showing anyone until she's 100% sure, the team may have made a verified touchdown prediction. Yesterday, a postcard from Pa arrived. After the town repaired the storm damage to the Grange, they restaged the town play. They even added a new part about the storm, including a scene where a certain someone unlocks the storm shelter. As long as it wasn't played by Pa in a wig, I'm happy. Pa says that he remembered most of his lines this time, at least the important ones. As for me, well, I've had just about enough stormy weather for one season. Love, Nancy. Oh, shit. I forgot the quiz. Um, it's probably Tobias, right? Oh, I guess I did, um, big spender, mm. yep, I knew there was a thing, yep, I don't know where this is, I don't know what this is about, I should have got this, I thought I got that, I... Well, After risking my life chasing down deadly twisters, I think it's time for a change of pace. I've decided to join Bess and George on their trip to Kyoto, Japan. I've always wanted to visit Japan, from the exotic food and wild fashion in the cities to the nature and tradition in the smaller towns. I know there's going to be a ton to see and do. As a thank you for all of my hard detective work, P.G. Krollmeister has reserved a room for me at one of the area's best ryokans, or traditional inns. It'll be nice to finally take a break from solving mysteries and to spend a few weeks without danger and dark secrets hiding around every corner. I've already heard that the ryokan I'm staying in has quite a reputation. I'm not sure exactly for what, though. Well, I'll find that out soon enough. I actually have this one. Join me in my next adventure, Shadow at the Water's Edge. I've never finished it because I got stuck at the puzzles and I'm not good at it. But, you know, it's whatever. Yeah. I can see why this wasn't considered like a good one. Or, I mean, I see why it got mixed reviews. Some of the puzzles were pretty 
difficult, but I suck at puzzles sometimes, and, uh, overall, I would say I liked it, mainly because, you know, I played this growing up, or whatever. Um, yeah, it was alright. One thing I liked, it has mini games in it. You know that shit where you do the stake in the homestead or the little one with Chase's CPU thing. All the characters were interesting, I would say. Uh, you know. Music was good. Really love showing this one though, don't they? Anyway, yeah. Next time, uh, I'll probably upload. Wow, 1997. Huh. Anyway, next one will probably be Freedom Fighters. Oh, bonus. Action! Is this like an outclips or some shit? Here you go, little guys. Good luck in your new home. How many of you are there? Okay, this is getting ridiculous. This is Elsie's first time as a driver on the Oklahoma circuit, but already she's showing herself to be a talented driver and fierce competitor on the track. It's rare to see a young cow driver with this much confidence, especially on such a difficult terrain. Excellent handling around the turns. Uh-oh, this could be trouble. And she handles it like a pro. Excellent performance today. Only one question remains. How did she get a car in the first place? I don't think I've ever seen. Oh. I don't think I've ever seen this before. Ouch! Wonder if all the other credits are like this, or they just started doing that, like with the phone. Either way, I guess it's a good idea to play the uh, credits from now on. Yeah. All right. It was a uh, all right time, I guess. I didn't talk much, and I looked up some of the... Uh... Hi, I'm Nancy Drew. Shut up. This is my center of operations. Right, my 